Hello, my friends. It is time for me to announce the card kit for this month. And let me just tell you, I'm warning you right now, if you are not in the card club, last month's sold out in two weeks. Two weeks. Usually they last a whole month. Nope, two weeks. So if you like this, get it ASAP because you do not want to miss out on it. Are you ready? And yes, my friends, it does include a card base. Woohoo, woohoo. Well, before we do anything, let's get through the nitty gritty. Yes, you get nice handy dandy envelopes, right? Because you can never have too many of those, let me tell you. You also get a handy dandy storage envelope, which you always need one of those. And let's jump in and look at the, ca the cardstock colors because that's gonna give us an idea of what we're working with here. So let's open this up, yay, yay, yay. Well, we get the standard because you know we always need our powdered sugar, so we have Four powdered sugars, dun, 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 dun. Then we have some midnight, and we have some sky, and we have some ginger snap, like craft cardstock. Then we have some, I believe, blue jay, yep. And then we have some kiwi. Okay, so that is our color palette. There are other colors, never fear, there are more colors just not in the cardstock. So you'll get solid colors on the paper pad. So hmm, let's look at the paper pad next because that way you'll really get an idea about this, this set, this kit. So it is called the Happy Thoughts Collection because it coordinates with our Stamp and Die Hard Club set, right? So a Stamp and Die Hard Club set, it coordinates with that, but it's not the same. Don't worry, it's not the same because we have a lot of people in both clubs. So let's look at this. Happy Thoughts, Happy Thoughts, Happy Thoughts. And then, oh, look at those cute bandages. I love those bandages. I like them because this one looks like it's curved a little. So like, you know how you put your ba uh, bandage on? It kind of curves a little depending on where you're putting it. So this one looks curved, which I think is fun. And the background pattern paper, I think this one is new. I think we designed this one new for, I say we, I did it. <laughs> but I think this is a new pattern for this pad. So that's exciting. Oh, look at, look at that pattern, right? Isn't that adorable? I love it. And then look at these cute little guys. I had so much fun coloring these and coloring them for you. I, and, I mean, shading them. They're so cute. I love them. So there we have, we have some doctors and we have somebody holding a uh, bandage holding flowers. Also, the flower here coordinates, coordinates. See, everything goes together. That's the whole thing about the Stamps of Life. Everything goes together. So this flower here is in your die hard, but it's also here on the paper as well and right here to cut out. Oh, another sheet to die cut. Oh, this one's so sad. Look how sad he is. Ooh, look at the balloons. Hmm, does that look familiar to anyone? Does that look familiar? Yes, it coordinates with our bunch of balloons. Fold it, club. I know, it's crazy. We're trying to tie everything together. Isn't that awesome? Look at this cutie pie. Such a cutie, such a cutie. Then we have, oh, cantaloupe in solid. Then we have happy thoughts smaller. Then we have smaller bandages, smaller balloons, smaller bandages holding flowers. Ooh, and a multicolored uh, flower. I love it. And ooh, a blue and blue, another happy thoughts, and then we start all over again. So you're getting four die cut pages, which is really nice because they really help you make a fast, fast card, right? So that's the paper pad. And you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you're a gold club member, meaning you're in the die hard and the kit club, you can order extra of these on the website for a limited time. Once they're gone, they're gone forever. Just a heads up. So once they're gone, they're gone forever, but get it now. Let's jump in. Uh, I'm gonna make you wait for that one. Oh, you get a freebie in this one. Oh, freebie, freebie, freebie. I don't like to show the freebie because some people want it to be surprised. Then let's, oh my goodness. Okay, let's look at, ooh, we have cantaloupe. Uh, this is the organza ribbon, cantaloupe, yummy. And okay, I cannot handle it any longer. Let's look at the A1 die set. Now, this base is so awesome. I don't think we have this one in, in A2. I think this is only in A1 now but you're getting a lot with this. So not only are you getting the A1 card base, you are also getting an A1 layering die and the word hello and a whole bunch of extra hearts that you can die cut to add on to this heart piece. So there's a lot of dies. How many dies in here total? And a layering die. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're getting 10 dies just in this. 
I don't know how we do it. I don't even try to question it because I don't want to know. <laughs> You're also getting the words happy thoughts, which is really nice when someone's not feeling well. Then, oh my goodness, all these embellishments. So first you're getting these fun balloon stickers, which coordinate with oh, the card kit balloons. I'm mean, sorry, the Fold It Club balloons and this set as well. Then you're also getting some fun epoxies. These are the matte ones, so they're not shiny. They're the matte, which are really fun. Then you're getting another sticker set get well soon thinking of you feel better get well soon and some fun flowers that oh yeah that matches what the little guy is holding and the paper see everything goes together and then last but not least this one is beautiful this one is beautiful we have some felt sky flowers with a big pearl on the inside Okay, let me show you my samples and then I get to play because you know, I really wanna play. So let's look at our samples. Here we have a cute one. This is our A2 card base and it says, thinking of you, hello. And look how cute our little guy is all layered up. Isn't that cute? I love that. Then here it is on an A1 card base and look at the background. So that background die, the hearts you are getting. You are getting that one, isn't that cute? Happy thoughts. You're also getting those dies, happy thoughts. Um, oh, here's a cute one for the tissue box, using the tissue box fold it. Look how that cute that is. Get well soon, the poor little guy's sad. Open it up, sending hugs and healing vibes your way. Poor guy. You know what, I need to send this, actually, I'm gonna send this to my mom tonight <laughs> because my mom's not feeling well. Perfect timing, I'll send it to her. Here's one, hello, look at that card base, you guys. Look at that fun, here, that's the best way. Look at that fun edge on it. Isn't that fun at the bottom? I love that, it's so fun. We're calling it the graceful because it coordinates with our graceful shape. So that is our graceful edge. And look at that, hello, open it up, happy thoughts. And then look how cute this one is. He's giving her a balloon and it says happy thoughts. I love that, so cute and you can have your little card. Now, this is where Stephanie gets to make a card. I don't always get to make cards in these videos, so it's kind of fun that I get to make a card. So of course you know I'm gonna use a brand new card base because hello, isn't that awesome? And I'm just gonna grab the card base first. I have mine over here in my storage envelope. Let's pull the magnet out. So I'm gonna use the card base and I'm gonna die cut that first. And let's die cut that out of, oh, I'm gonna use me. Midnight. I love midnight. So we're going to grab that. I'm going to trim this down. So I'm going to use this in my midi and I'm going to trim this down so it can go through my midi and I'm going to lay that down. I'm going to go a little bit at an angle so I don't have any speed bumps and I'm going to run that through my midi. The midi is easy because it's just so fast. It's so fast to grab it and just run it through. Dun, 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 dun. Almost done. Look at that. Boom, done. So there we have our card base. Card making is so easy. Sometimes I think people don't realize how easy it is, especially with dies, because dies just make it so easy. The die has a fold crease on it, so there I know where to crease it. It's hard to see because I'm wearing black and it's dark. So that's that. Then we want to use the layering die that comes with it, and I'm going to use the paper pad. So you know I'm going to grab some of those flowers, right? You just know that. That was kind of a given. So let's go back and look at some of these flowers. Oh, I'm going to use this one. I love this one too much. So I'm going to grab this one that is the craft with all the different colors because of course there's some blue on there, some midnight. So I'm going to grab that and I'm just going to go ahead and trim it down so I can put this at an angle in my machine. And I am going to run that through. So there we go. That is going to be my layering piece. So we're going to run that through. Again, if you are not in the kit club and you even think you like this kit, you better get it now. Sign up now. The monthly commitment's only three months. Uh, after three months, you can cancel it any time. We know you won't want to, but um, you have that if you need to. Also, you get so many free things when you join, and you get a 15% discount off of everything on our website every single day. So that's really fun. And if you're in the Die Hard Club, which is our most popular club, the Die Hard Club, the dies match the paper pad. I know it all goes together. I love it. So there we have just our front, right? So now we're going to look and see what we want to decorate our card with. And I'm really, you know, I'm going to grab one of those die cut sheets. Hello. And let's look at this. I think I want to do, I'm going for the flowers. Go big or go home, right? So let's grab our dies from the Die Hard Club. Let's grab the dies uh, holding the flowers. And I'm going to just grab the 
I'm just going to grab the shadow die because I don't need to do the whole both dies. I'm going to grab the shadow die and I'm going to get some. Dun, 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 where is it? Where is it? Where, oh, here it is. I'm going to get some masket tape to tape my die down so it doesn't go anywhere when it goes in the machine. So I'm going to lay that down, line it up over the die, get it nice and centered. And then we're going to run that through the machine. So let's just grab that and run that through the machine really fast, just like this. Now I'm going to have that cute little girl. I call her a girl just because she kind of looks like one. Well, I mean, she's holding flowers. Uh, you could add little eyelashes to her to make her look more like a girl if you wanted. So there we have our cute little cutie pie here. And I'm looking at that saying, that is awesome. But you know what? What else could we add to the front of this card? Let's look. Oh, you know what? We have to use this one. <laughs> we have to use the sick in bed. It's just the face on there is just cracks me up. So let's see. So let's let's make sure this is going to fit on here, though. So let's see. Uh, it is. It's going to fit. We're going to use the blue one. I love I mean, it's sad to say I love the face, but I do. It's just like it's so sad. <laughs> and you know what? Unfortunately, Unfortunately, we need, we need get well cards more often than we want to admit, right? So I always like to say for get well and sympathy, I highly recommend you make a whole bunch and just have them on hand. Because especially with sympathy, you never want to make a sympathy card when you need it, right? Because, you know, you're feeling sad. So the best time to do the get well and the sympathy is to make a whole bunch one day. When you're in a good mood, just go make a whole bunch of cards and have them on hand. So then when your mom gets sick or somebody in your family gets sick, you can grab one and mail it away, right? Easy peasy. Okay, now look, you guys, oh my word, look at this. This is so dang cute. So I am going to go ahead and adhere this one. Oh, this is cute. We're gonna lay this down right there. It's, this literally fits perfect. You'd almost think we planned that. We didn't, but you'd almost think we did. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of home squares because I wanna pop this guy up a little bit. I want him to be like the hero of the card. So we're gonna pop that up just a little. So let's, oops, let's peel this up. There we go. So I'm just using adhesive foam and we're gonna grab this piece. There we go. And so now this one's going to be popped up just a little bit, just to kind of like show, hey, no, I'm giving you flowers. Yay. <laughs> now, this is really cute, and I don't even think I'm going to put anything on the front. I might, but not yet. But when you open it up, how are you going to write in here? Uh, with a white gel pen? Uh, white gel pens really aren't good for writing messages, right? Because they get all blo blotchy and stuff. So what, do I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my card die. Grab the layering die that I used for the flowers, and I'm going to just grab some white. Now, I'm not going to grab a big piece because, you know, I don't want to use my big cardstock for a little piece like this. I'm going to grab some scrap paper, right? This is white. I'm just grabbing this, and I'm going to run this through because when you just need a little tiny piece, you don't really want to use a full sheet of cardstock. Save your big pieces of cardstock for your card bases, right? So we're just going to run this through. And now I am going to have a cute little card base that matches this. Now I have two options here. One, I could do it this way so you don't see the white when you do it, right? So you don't see the white when you close it. Or I can turn it this way so you do see it at the bottom. The choice is up to us. So I'm going to look at this and I'm like, oh, well, hmm, what do I want to do? I think I'm just going to put it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive to it. And, whoops, and we are going to lay this down right like this. So cute. There we go. And there we have a cute little card. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Now I can write my message. But before I'm done, I want to look at my stamps really quick. And I am going to grab, oh, look at this. Um, Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, wow, that one's good. I'm here for you. So sorry you aren't feeling well. Feel better. We're going to just grab this stamp that says feel better. And we're going to stamp it on that bed, which just looks like the perfect spot to stamp because there's that extra space there. And so I'm going to grab that. I'm going to get some licorice. I could use it like a midnight, but just for time sake. Now, the first time I stamp, I always stamp on scratch just to check it. Oh, perfect. 
ink it again, stamp it right there, feel better. Perfect spot for a card, right? I mean, for a, a, a little sentiment on there. Then on the inside, let's stamp something else. Oh, I like this one. This I really, really like this one because a lot of times people, you say, oh, I'm so sorry you're sick. And they say, oh, thanks. The next thing we need to say if we're feeling well enough is what can I do to help, right? What can I do to help? Maybe they need some chicken noodle soup. Maybe they just need someone to talk to, or maybe they need somebody to water their plants. I don't know. So this one is gonna say, what can I do to help? Ta-da, look at that. Now, last but not least, last but not least, we're gonna do one more thing. And what is that? We're going to put our personalized stamp on the back. So let's grab this one. This one says, a handmade card means I really care. I spent five hours on this card. Hugs, Stephanie. <laughs> so we're gonna ink this up and I'm gonna stamp it on the back. Now you might not be able to see it very well on camera. You can see it in real life. It is a little lighter than normal, but uh, you can see it in, in real life. So there we go. How fast was that? Now, keep in mind, my friends, we make these kits. You can make a minimum of 12 cards, but I literally used almost nothing from this kit, right? I used two little cutouts from the die cut sheet, but I have two of these left. I have this whole page and another one. And I use one of these, but I still have another one of these left plus this one. Wow, I didn't use any embellishments. Uh, wow, like I barely used anything. Oh, I used the card die, which yay, and a little piece of pattern paper, but I have enough to make a lot more cards a lot more cards so it's really fun to see how many cards you can really make so i'm challenging you how many cards do you think you can make with your card kit thanks so much and i'll see you again soon bye bye
Thank you so much for watching. Now, make sure you subscribe to our channel right below us here so you don't miss out on any of our videos. You'll also have the option to click the Shop Now button or check out some of these other videos that we have on YouTube because you know what? You're going to love them. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.